Hey guys, what's happening? So, I recently, uh, in my last video, had uh, purchased that ASUS uh, GTX 1660 Super. And actually, I'm having some airflow distribution issues. You can tell my new, the new card runs at uh, 87%. And actually, I've seen it go up to 99%. It really depends on if my uh, garage door is open or not. So, what I need to do is I need to experiment and show you uh, good airflow versus bad airflow. So let me show my other mining rig here real fast. So this is my 4RX 5700 XT rig. And uh, I actually have really good distribution of the GPUs in the rack. And that's actually why they run cool like that. But let me show you back to my 4 GPU miner, my 3D printed mining rig. And uh, take a look. But yeah, 87%, that's actually pretty cool. So if the garage door was closed, this thing would be probably running at about 99, 95%. So let me go back and I'll show you the rig I'll do it before and after. All right, so here is the uh, rig in question. So um, typically on most mining rigs, the outside card usually actually runs the coolest because there's actually nothing in front of it, right? So what happens is it compounds the heat. I mean, these things don't run you know, hot at all because I have actually pretty very well spaced, but it's usually this, this outside card always runs the coolest. Because what happens if you look at the back of the card, it's open, it's just basically pushing hot air into the next card. So, this is actually the card in question here, the uh, 1660 Super. So, um, this is a new one I just recently bought on OfferUp. But the fan is going, you know, anywhere from like 89 to 99%. So, it actually gets real loud here. So, one of the things I had to do is I had to get some extensions. Because um, my power supply, I couldn't get it far enough over, it's just too tight. Um, so, I got some extensions. I'm going to move this card all the way over. I'm going to try to get this, I might even flip them around because this other one has better cooling. Uh, I might put that in the center. We'll see. Um, but I need to move. I need to get more space between them. All right, so I got a little bit more space now between them. So I'm gonna do a test. I might have to tweak it a little back and forth. But um, in one of my other rigs, you can't see here the six uh, RX five uh, eighties. They're actually in a four U case, a server mount case. And uh, for me to get those things cool, I have tons of fans. So I have tons of these uh, eighty millimeter fans. And I think I probably have like five or six in the front and five or six in the back or I kind of have an insane amount of airflow going through it. So if you actually have the cards super tight together like that, you need to have an insane amount of airflow, which actually costs money, you know, and if you're, you're crypto mining, you know, it's all about wattage. All right, here we are again. Mine at full capacity again. Let's see, taking shares. All right, so we're still at 87%, 48 degrees. Uh, one thing I definitely noticed is that the, uh, the ROG Strix card is running way cooler than the rest. Well, at least the fan usage right here, 46%, 87%, and the 3070, 72%. So what I might do is I'm gonna swap these cards around back and forth, and we'll try it again. All right, as you can see, this uh, these things are actually running pretty loud. But, so my thought was, is I'd swap these two around. So these are both ASUS cards. Uh, one is the ROG Strix, which is better. And this is the Tough Gaming. And one thing I noticed is that the actual, the ROG Strigs, um, it has a much better heatsink. It's a much larger heatsink, the PCB is bigger, all the above. Um, so what I might do is hopefully this, if this is a cooler position, then hopefully it will be bring the fan down a little bit. Alright, so the uh, ROG Strix actually has a stack fin design like this, whereas the actual uh, ASUS Tough Gaming is a solid chunk of aluminum. Alright, so swapping around made no change. It's still around 88 degrees. So, I mean, I'd like to get this down at least on the yellow. Um, so, I'm actually, I'm, I'm going to swap around the cards again. I'll show you what I'm going to do here. Yeah, this heat sink is definitely not very good on this Tough Gaming. So, if you're considering, I mean, right now you can hardly even get the card, so you get what you can get. But, um, this is definitely not a great card for, for GPU mining, just because you can't, it doesn't cool very well in a tight situation like this. So, remember like what I said earlier, this outside card usually runs the coolest. So, I'm going to move this card out to here and just swap them around. All right, so if you're wondering why I even designed a 3D printed mining rig, it's because when I first started mining, these cases were selling for 30 hours on Amazon, and then now you can't even buy them, and if you can find them, they're like 300 bucks. So, plus I wanted something that I actually could hold like four GPUs. So, all right, so I'm going to swap them around, move the 3070 over this way. There we go. All right, we'll give that a shot. Put the power back on. Alright, so now I have my, the new placement. 
Uh, as you can see, the uh, Tough Gaming is actually running cooler, 67% fan. Except now, my 3070, it's actually running a higher percentage, 85%. All right, so also sometimes what makes a difference is actually these fans in the front. So typically, normally you want to blow air away. So right now the air direction is going this way. You can tell by the way the fans are mounted in there. The back of the fan is made going this way. So um, so I can either flip them around and pull air, push air into them, or I can just disconnect this too. And sometimes actually having this actually creates more of a problem. It creates like an air, like a disturbance in the air pattern here. So it actually makes it less efficient to cool. So you notice I don't actually have any fans on the front of this one. So I'm going to try that and see if this actually brings this one down a little bit. Alright, so a lot of, after a lot of rig changes and different modifications, I got it down to a pretty safe range. I also changed my auto fed settings to, uh, it used to be about 45, brought up about 5 degrees, um, and that brought the fans down. So let me go back and I'll show you what I did there. Alright, so there it is. So actually I made a bigger space between the 3070. I'm actually more concerned about the 3070 because that thing is expensive. Um, these are about 300. I think I paid 250 for this one originally. This one I just bought for 350. Uh, so now they're both running cool. This one, like I said, is running a little bit hotter, but uh, as long as you, I, I like to keep them around 50 degrees. I mean, the AMD's actually seem to run a little bit hotter, but um, all right, I think we're running good here. I mean, it's not running. Feels all right. Not too bad. All right, so every single mining rig I've ever had to put together, I've had to mess with the spacing to get the, I had to optimize either the spacing, the fan control, uh, just to get it to work right. Especially during, right now, it's peak summertime, so it's hot. So, um, yeah, I, I bought all these cards, I mean, except for a couple of them, but, you know, I bought all these before the GPU pricing went crazy. So, all right, hopefully this thing will last. All right, cool.